Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 53 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about aggregate functions. So there are couple of aggregate functions which I want to cover in this video. In our next video, we cover few more aggregate functions. So in this video, the main focus will be to cover this average function, approx count distinct function, collect list, collect set, count distinct and count functions. So firstly, what is aggregate function and what they actually do? So any aggregate function, what it will actually do? It will actually perform some kind of operation on group of rows and calculate some value and that calculated single value will be returned for that group of rows. So aggregate function will be take some group of rows and perform some calculation and that calculation value will be returned as a single value. So that is what most of the aggregate functions will do. So as I said, this video, I will be covering all these functions here. So let me practically explain you each and every function here. So before explaining that, let me go to my Databricks workspace. And here, let's try to create a new notebook. And let me name this notebook as aggregate functions notebook one okay python is a default language this is my cluster so let me hit create button to create a notebook here so once the notebook you can see my notebook get created successfully and here let me try to create one data frame here so for that i have already written some python code here so let me copy that and paste it here this is a straightforward code you guys may understand this because i am doing this from many videos so I created a list of tuples here. Each row will indicate one, I mean, each tuple indicate one row. And this is like a list of values with strings. This will indicate the column names. So I gave the variable name as schema. Finally, using create data frame function, I'm creating this data frame. So let me try to use data frame dot show function to display this data frame for your better understanding. You can see we have employee name, department and salary columns three employees you can see the salary column so i will take this salary column as an example and i will try to explain all the aggregate functions whatever listed in the ppt today so here if you see there are three salaries 1500 3000 and 1500 so this is like a salary column so now let's go back to our presentation and let's try to understand this approx count distinct function this will return count of distinct items from group of rows so that means for example if i go to my data frame and here if you see i have a salary column and in this column if i pass this column to that function you have two distinct values right one will be 1500 and another is 3000 okay so we have third row also 1500 but this is like a duplicate value right so if i want to get the distinct values then it should return these two values. So that is what uh, that function will actually does this. And let me practically explain you this. Approx count distinct function, right? So before using that, what you have to do, you have to import that function from PySpark dot SQL dot functions module. So let me take this module and then let me try to import approx control space will give intelligence. And here I can see approx underscore count underscore distinct function. So I'm importing that function. And here what I will be doing from this data frame, let's try to use a select function to select a row. And here I will be using this approx count distinct function. To this function, I am passing my input rows, the group of rows. So I will be passing this entire column. So when I say salary, it will take this entire column values that means that entire group and then perform the operation of getting distinct values count and as i said we have two distinct values from this group or from this column so it is going to give that same thing back so let me use dot show function to print that and let me hit shift enter once you this cell execution completes you can see here it gives me two because we have two distinct values so count should be two when you use approx count distinct function okay so similarly 
let's try to understand the average function what it will do it will calculate the average of all the values so here we have 1500 3000 1500 so totally 6000 if you sum it it will become 6000 divided by 3 because 3 rows so it will give you 2000 so average of this column should be 2000 so let me see whether that will happen or not so let's try to import this average function and here on the same data frame let's try to use a select and here let's try to use this average function to this function i am passing my column on which i want to perform the average and then finally let's try to use the show function to show the data frame so once i hit shift enter command executed successfully and if you see average of salary it gives value as 2000 okay and then let's try to discuss about the next function which is collect list that is going to return all the values from the input column as a list okay and that list will contain even duplicates also so let me practically show you this uh, here what i am going to do now i am going to import that collect list function and here on the same data frame whatever this data frame you are seeing here on the same data frame so df dot let's try to use select function and here I will be using collect list function to the collect list function I am going to pass my salary column and then finally show function to show the data frame if you see here salary column has values 1500 3000 1500 all these values will be collected as a list and that list will be printed and if you see here 1500 is a duplicate value right it, it is there for two times so that duplicates will also be included when you use this collect list actually so let me hit shift enter to execute this command and once the command execution completes here if i scroll down and if you see the result for the collect list it gives me all the values as a list that means array type column in Py, in PySpark. so if you don't know what is array type column please watch it from my PySpark playlist okay and then there is another function called collect set so let me try to import this collect set function and this function will does the exactly same as collect list but what it will do it will eliminate the duplicates for example i have 1500 3000 and then 1500 so it will eliminate the duplicates and it will give you remaining du distinct values as a list so let me try to use this collect set here so i am using collect set function this time and let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and after cell execution completes if i scroll down and if you show you the results you can see collect list has three items because duplicates are also included there but collect set has only two items why because duplicates are eliminated okay so now let's try to understand another function so let's go back to presentation so there is something called count distinct so it is going to count the distinct elements from an input column so that means if i take the salary column it is going to perform the count of distinct values so that means there are two distinct values so two that will be written so let me practically show you that here so here let me use slash because i want to write it in another row and here let me try to use this count distinct function to import here and then finally on top of data frame let's try to use select then count distinct to the count distinct function i am passing salary column then finally show function to display the data frame and command execution is running and once the execution completes i can clearly show you that it listed value as two why because we have two distinct salaries similarly there is something called count function so this count function will actually count all the elements so even if there are any duplicates it doesn't care it will simply count all the elements from that column so let me practically show you that here so i am using a count function and passing salary column and then using a show function and hitting shift enter to execute this command and once the command execution completes if i scroll down you can see count of salary gave value as three why because we have three values in count in salary column whereas count distinct salary gave value 2 why because it will only count the distinct elements so that's it 
I think I have covered all the functions whatever I listed. In our next video also we will be discussing few more aggregate functions. Stay tuned guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.